welcome back to my channel. My name's Jess, if you're new to my channel. I look a little different here. I don't even know if you're gonna recognize me. Um, but yeah, it's uh, Halloween coming up pretty soon, so that's why I am dressed like this. I wanted to show you a couple of really cool Halloween looks, and I wanted to show you today how to do this mermaid makeup. She is glittery. She is a very glittery mermaid, and I absolutely love it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. I have more Halloween looks coming up for you. I also have them on my Instagram, which I'll link down below. I do post a lot of Halloween looks on there all throughout October, so don't forget to check that out. And if you wanna see how to create this look and do this hair, um, just keep on watching, and we're gonna get glittery, so be ready for a mess. All right, let's do it. All right, so I've already done my hair. Um, I will put in a little clip of me doing my hair so you can see exactly what I did to get these beachy waves. I absolutely love this new hair technique that I've been doing. So I bought this hair tool on Amazon and it's like a three barrel curling iron. It gives you the per most perfect waves and you really don't have to try that hard to achieve them. So basically all you do, it's like a crimper. You just kind of hold it down. Keep holding it down on each part of your hair as you go down. I like to hairspray it first. And then once I'm done the whole head of hair, and I think it looks as wavy as I want it to look, I put it up to a really high heat as well. But after I do that, then I like to spray some coconut oil spray in my hair just to give it a bit of a sheen. I also like to spray this Beach Wave Sea Spray in my hair just to give it that look kind of like you've been at the beach. And if you're a mermaid, you definitely have. I'm not done with the hair just yet. I just put it out of my face for doing the look. But we're gonna move on to the base. So I'm gonna start off with my Dior Backstage Primer. I absolutely love this for filling in the pores. Then, to make it nice and easy, I'm just gonna use my Milk Flex Foundation Stick. Um, so I'm just gonna put this literally all over my face. So then I'm just gonna blend this in. Okay, that was super easy to blend. Now I'm gonna go on to concealer. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I'm just really gonna put a lot on more than I normally would um, because we want this to look really put together we're not going for natural we're going for super full coverage I like to use this tool right here, this like eyebrow brush. I'm just gonna brush up my eyebrows first. I'm gonna take my concealer. So I like to put it on my brush here and then brush that onto the eyebrows. And it like instantly whites out your eyebrows pretty well. It's kind of cool. And I find this a lot easier than like actually covering up your eyebrows with like a glue stick and stuff, even though that's definitely necessary for some looks. So we're gonna set this all. So I'm gonna use my Peach Too Faced setting powder. And just with a brush, I'm just gonna go in a little bit with that. And just kind of set under the eyes. So nothing's moving that much. So for the mermaid look, I'm gonna use my cremated palette from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, and I'm just gonna go in with a light gray for the base. I'm thinking I'll use this one right here. So that is Life Insurance. And I'm just going to pop that in the crease kind of. This is just gonna be our blending shade, so. It has to be perfect. I love Halloween because you can literally be so creative with your makeup. There really is no rules, and that's what I like about it. I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and this does have a lot of um, nice blue shades, which I love. I think I'm gonna go in with this purple shade. It's kind of like a bluey purple. Um, it's called the B2 shade, so just right there. 
I'm gonna pop that in the crease and just blend it out a little bit into that gray. And hopefully these colors blend well together. I've never used these colors together, I don't think. So then we're just gonna go back in. I'm gonna add glitter onto this as well. But for Halloween, like this is such an easy, pretty costume to pull off. So I'm gonna hit this part of the lids with a little bit of black from the Norvina palette. And I'm just going to put that on really carefully. I'm not really putting it up too high. Normally I would actually do a base of eyeliner with this just to make the black stick, but it actually seems to be looking pretty good. So I'm gonna take my uh, blending brush and I'm gonna blend that black out a little bit right there, just on the edges. Blend it up into that like bluey kind of shade. I'm gonna go over it with this shade from the Jeffree Star palette. Um, so that's Angel of Death. And it's a really, really pretty shade. It's definitely, I feel like it's more fitting um, for the look. I'm putting that right over top. Yeah, I like that. You gotta be really careful with these. So again, I'm just gonna go back in and kind of blend that out. I picked up some beautiful um, glitters from Claire's. So I'm using my NYX glitter glue and I'm just gonna put a bit on the back of my hand. I think I'm just gonna put some on like the middle of the eye kinda, going all the way up. That, that could be nice. So this is the shade that I chose, if you can see that. Very pretty, so yeah. Whoa. Okay, that is definitely mermaid. And yeah, I'm just kind of dabbing it around where I first placed it to kind of make it look like I didn't just place it in one spot and then any leftover glue you have on your brush will help make it stay. So before I finish up with the eyes, I'm actually going to do my face real quick here. I'm just gonna do some like bronzer and stuff like that. I'm gonna use a bit of this bronzer, which is the Bare Minerals um, bronzer. And I'm kind of just gonna really place it. I'm not really gonna blend it out that much. I'm just gonna place it right here. I haven't used this blush in a long time and I'm kind of excited to use it. So I'm gonna use this shade of blush. Um, it's called California by Benefit. But because this is a nice mermaid or supposed to be kind of a nice mermaid, not really an evil one, I'm gonna put a little bit of a flush on her. Just like that. So for the highlight, I have a really nice highlight that I wanna use. This is honestly so pretty for any kind of like mermaidy looks. It's very iridescent and chromatic. So I'm just gonna put that right here and kinda play with it, but you can definitely see the color shift there. It's so pretty. So I'm just putting a lot of this nice glowy highlighter on. Woo, we want to glow. So I'm gonna spray some of this Bronzing Mist by Saint Tropez just to set everything down so far. I'm gonna go back in with that gray shade first. So we're putting that under the eye. Now I'm going back in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and we're going back in with that blue shade that I used and we're just popping that under the eye now. I absolutely love this color. 
I think it's like my favorite shade of the whole entire palette. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of black eyeliner because always, right? Just be careful when you're doing this. It's called tight lining. That's good if you're wearing eyelashes, it really helps. I'm gonna go back in with this glitter glue and I'm gonna put a little bit on where I put the highlighter on my cheekbones and I think I'm gonna use this glitter because it just looks so pretty. This is from the Claire's set as well. I'm putting that on, ooh. Yep, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that. Sorry if I'm annoying, but I'm actually just loving this because I'm thinking of everything on the spot. <laughs> and it looks so cool. It's just nice when a look comes together. And that's kind of a different take on scales. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Mascara. Um, I'm gonna be putting lashes on so it doesn't need to be that much. Just gotta darken what I have. This lip liner is Huda Beauty. Uh, I'm really just getting a shape going here. Kind of for like an outline. I'm gonna do this lip color. Uh, it's a really pale nude by I, Jeffree Star. I think we're gonna use this pink glitter for the lips. Um, I don't know why, it's just kind of speaking to me. Now I'm using my NYX glitter glue again on my lips. I'm gonna start off on the bottom with this thick glitter. Holy crap, hopefully it works. I didn't think how chunky this was. <sighs> yep. There you go. Okay, I just spit glitter everywhere. I just got these lashes from Amazon. I am literally obsessed. They're huge, but they're so nice. They're really, really cool. If you need really amazing costume lashes, I would recommend getting those lashes. I will link them in the description box below. I actually added some of this Anastasia Beverly Hills glitter onto the lips just because I felt like it wasn't really completed. I think it really made them look more put together. I really like it. So this is the finished look, scales and all. And I have these little starfish clips. I'm just gonna put those up in my hair. They're just so cute. I'm gonna use this um, roll-on body glitter, it says. And this is from, I think I got it at Claire's actually as well. So it literally just rolls on. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit in my hair here and see if that works. So that is my mermaid look. I really hope you liked it. I will link everything I use down below in the description box. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will have another Halloween video coming up real soon for you. So keep an eye out for that. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you try this look out for yourself. It's actually really fun. See you in the next video.